everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some NBA action for January 29th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. All right, so let's get into some action here as so we're getting closer and closer to the All-Star break, and teams are looking to uh, make a push for a good start for the second half of the season. So let's take a look at the games here. There are four games scheduled. First one, Miami Heat and the Charlotte Hornets. Miami enters the contest sixth in the Eastern Conference, while Charlotte is second from the bottom. You see that the Heat are burning hot right now, winners of their last two and four out of their last six, while the Hornets are ice cold down, losers of their last two, and they have lost four out of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under line. Uh, with Miami in games under the line in their last three, and Charlotte in games over the line in four out of their last five. On the power ranks indicator, you see Miami is up at plus 21, and Charlotte has been meandering down around the bottom of the league for quite some time, and they are at plus three. The score predictor, interestingly enough, has a 113-113 tie. Now, of course, we can't have a tie in an NBA game, but it's just showing how close that that we feel that this game is going to be, um, with confidence in prediction of about 66%. If you look at the stability factor, the teams have both been pretty consistent with regard to their favored underdog status, Charlotte at 21 and Miami at 14. Um, head to head of the two teams played yet this season, they have, they have played twice with Miami coming out on top both times, once by 17 points and once by five in overtime. In the end, I like Miami to get the road win, but I would pass on the over-under bet. Let's take a look at Indiana versus Memphis. Uh, in this contest here, Memphis is second in the Western Conference, while Indiana is ninth outside looking in on the playoffs, and largely in part due to losing five out of their last six. They have um, dead status at the moment, while Memphis hasn't been playing well either. They have dropped their last four, and they are ice cold down. If you take a look here at the power ranks indicator, you can see here that Memphis is at plus 25, while Indiana is at plus 15. Um, the score predictor has Memphis by a large margin, 129 to 112, with about 58% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the over-under, Memphis has been under in the last three. That's probably why they have uh, lost four in a row. If you look at their scores here, they haven't been, yeah, they, well, in the last game they put 120 on the board against uh, Golden State, but the other games have been a little bit less than their usual uh, scoring output. Um, anyway, they've been under in three out of the last six, while Indiana has been also under in three out of the last six and over in the last contest. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, once again, Memphis, among the most stable teams in the NBA at plus 25, they've been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. And Indiana has been pretty consistent as well, although they have dipped. They dipped down pretty low there for a while, but then now, now they've been more stable, and they're at plus 13. Um, in the end, I think this is going to be a game for Memphis. I like them at home, and a game going over the line. The Clippers and the Cavaliers. In this contest here, the Clippers are burning hot, having won their last three, while Cleveland is ice cold down, losers of three out of their last four. Uh, both teams are in the uh, midst of the playoff race in their conferences, so they both have a lot uh, to play for heading into the All-Star break. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you see Cleveland has been up and down. They were at 20, and now they're back up to plus 23. While the Clippers have been on an upward trend since January the 20th over the last week, they jumped from plus 10 up to plus 19. So let's take a look at the score predictor. Uh, Clippers by 121.15 with about 68% level in the confidence of, of the prediction. Now, if we take a look at the over-under, though, you can see the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the over-under line. Cleveland has been under in their last two and four out of their last six, while the Clippers have been involved in games over the line in five out of their last six games. The stability factor, which is a thing that we always like to look at. And again, these two teams have been very consistent as well with regard to their favorite underdog stats. You see plus 19 to plus 16. Once you get down around zero and in the negatives, especially for this time of the season, then you know that they have not been very consistent with regard to that category. Um, in the head-to-head -head matchups, 
In the first game this season, back on November the 7th, the Clippers won at a tight one, 119-117 at home. I like something similar in this one. I like the Clippers, but I would pass on the over-under bet. The final game of the day is in New Orleans Pelicans and Milwaukee Bucks. The Pelicans have been playing terrible ball of late. You can see they've lost their last six. And three of the last six, they've been involved in games under the line. Uh, let's see how many points they've been putting up on the board. Uh, yeah, 102, 98, 96, 110, 98. They haven't been putting points up on the board at all. But Milwaukee's burning hot. They have won four out of their last six games, and they are third in the Eastern Conference. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you see the trend here. New Orleans on the downward trend. They were at plus 20 just a little over a week ago, about a week and a half ago now. Oh, well, eight days ago. So about a week ago. And Milwaukee is at plus 23. The score predictor has Milwaukee by 11 points with a pretty high level of confidence in prediction of 79%. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the teams met back on December the 19th with Milwaukee winning on the road by 9 points, 128 to 119. In the end, the Bucks better team, playing better ball right now, and at home, I like the Bucks by double digits, but I would go under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for the NBA for January the 29th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.